In the distant future, humanity had finally found a new home in the stars. After years of searching, a planet was discovered that was perfect for human colonization. It was named New Eden, and a team of explorers were sent to begin building the first human settlement. As they travelled through the vast expanse of space, the explorers encountered a strange spacecraft. It was unlike anything they had ever seen before, with sleek lines and a strange glowing energy that surrounded it. The explorers hailed the craft, but received no response. After some deliberation, the explorers decided to board the craft to investigate. Inside, they discovered a strange device that resembled a computer. It was activated by their presence, and suddenly the room was filled with a bright light. When the light faded, the explorers found themselves in a completely different part of the universe. The planet they had been headed to was nowhere in sight. Confused and disoriented, they quickly realised that they had been transported to another dimension. The strange spacecraft had taken them to a parallel universe, one where humans had already colonised New Eden. The explorers were greeted by the inhabitants, who were amazed by the arrival of the newcomers. They shared stories of their own journey to this new world, and how they had discovered the same spacecraft that had brought the explorers to this world. The two groups of humans joined forces and began exploring their new universe together. They discovered countless planets and civilizations, each with their own unique quirks and customs. They even encountered hostile alien species, but were able to overcome them with their advanced technology and teamwork. Years went by, and the two groups of humans continued to explore their new universe. They had found a new home in the stars, and they knew that they would never stop exploring and discovering the wonders of the universe that lay before them. As they travelled through the stars, the humans encountered a planet that was shrouded in mystery. It was covered in a thick fog that obscured everything from view. The humans were hesitant to explore it, but their curiosity got the best of them. As they descended onto the planet, they discovered ruins that dated back to an ancient civilization. The ruins were massive, and they were filled with strange technology that the humans had never seen before. They were amazed by the intricate machines that still functioned, despite the passage of time. The humans spent weeks exploring the ruins, trying to decipher the technology that was left behind. They discovered that the ancient civilization had been wiped out by a massive war and that they had left behind technology that was far more advanced than anything that the humans had ever seen. As they continued to explore, they found a strange device that resembled the one that had transported them to this parallel universe. They realised that this device was a gateway that could transport them to other dimensions. Excited by the prospect of discovering new worlds, the humans activated the gateway and were transported to another parallel universe. This new universe was vastly different from their own and they encountered new challenges that they had never faced before, but the humans were determined to continue exploring and they knew that they had found a new home in the stars. They were the pioneers of a new age of exploration and they would never stop until they had uncovered all of the mysteries that the universe had to offer. As they continued their exploration, the humans encountered a race of intelligent beings that were unlike anything they had ever seen before. These beings were telepathic, and they communicated with the humans through their thoughts. At first, the humans were wary of these creatures, but they soon realised that they were peaceful and meant no harm. The beings shared their knowledge and wisdom with the humans, teaching them about the universe and the secrets that it held. With the help of these beings, the humans were able to unlock the secrets of the universe. They discovered new technologies that allowed them to travel faster than the speed of light, and they uncovered the mysteries of time and space. But their exploration was not without its dangers. They encountered hostile alien species that were determined to destroy them, these aliens were more powerful than anything the humans had ever faced before, and they posed a threat to the entire universe. 
In a desperate battle, the humans fought to save the universe from destruction. They used their advanced technology and their ingenuity to defeat the aliens and restore peace to the universe. Of a new age of exploration, and they had found a new home in the stars. The crew members looked around in awe, taking in the sights and sounds of New Eden. They saw plants with iridescent leaves and flowers that glowed in the dark. They heard the chirping of insects and the rustling of animals in the distance. They felt a sense of wonder and humility, realising that the Martinez activated her communicator and spoke to the crew. We're setting up the base camp here, she said, pointing to a clearing in the forest. Let's get to work. We have a lot to do, and time is of the essence. The crew members nodded and began to unload the equipment from the ship. They set up the tents, the generators, the communication devices and the scientific instruments. They tested the air quality, the soil composition and the water purity. They took samples of the plants, the animals and the minerals. As they worked, they also began to feel the first effects of being on a new world. Some of them felt a sense of disorientation, as if their senses were not processing the environment correctly. Others felt a surge of emotions, ranging from euphoria to anxiety to nostalgia. Martinez noted these changes and made a mental note to report them to the medical team. Were guests in a world that had existed for millions of years without their knowledge? After several hours of intense work, the crew members retreated to their tents for rest and meal. They gathered around a holographic map of the planet, discussing their findings and observations. They also shared stories and jokes, trying to maintain a sense of camaraderie and humour in the face of the unknown. As the sun began to set and the stars emerged, the crew members settled into their sleeping bags, feeling the fatigue and excitement of the day. They knew that tomorrow would bring new challenges and discoveries, but for now, they were content to rest and dream of the wonders of New Eden. The next morning, the crew woke up to a chorus of chirping birds and buzzing insects. They stretched their limbs and checked their equipment, eager to continue their exploration of New Eden. They had planned to split into teams and cover different areas of the planet, searching for signs of life, resources and potential hazards. Martinez gathered the crew around her and gave a briefing. Today we'll be exploring the northern region of the planet, she said. Team A will focus on the forests, looking for animals, plants and water sources. Team B will survey the hills, searching for minerals, ores and caves. Team C will map the coastline, studying the ocean currents, tides and marine life. We'll stay in contact via our communicators and rendezvous at sunset. The crew members nodded and began to prepare for their respective tasks. Martinez led Team A, which included a biologist, a botanist, a geologist and a linguist. They walked through the dense forest, using their scanners and cameras to detect and document the flora and fauna. They saw trees with roots that glowed like fireflies, flowers that emitted a sweet fragrance and animals that resembled a cross between deer and rabbits. The biologist, Dr Lee, took samples of the animal's blood tissue and saliva, and analysed them on a portable lab. She found that their DNA was similar to that of Earth's mammals, but with some variations that hinted at a unique evolutionary history. The botanist, Dr Kim, collected seeds, leaves and fruits from the plants and examined them under a microscope. She discovered that some of the plants had photosynthetic pigments that absorbed light in different spectra than Earth's plants, suggesting adaptations to the purple sky and the fainter sunlight. The geologist, Dr Singh, drilled into the soil and rocks, studying their composition and structure. He found that the planet had a rich variety of minerals, including copper, silver and platinum. He also detected traces of a strange element that had no earthly equivalent, which he named Edanium after the planet. The linguist, Dr Chang, listened to the animal's vocalisations and tried to discern patterns and meanings. She also recorded her own voice and played it back, hoping to establish a form of communication. Meanwhile, Team B, led by the engineer, Mr Rodriguez, hiked through the rugged hills, 
using their tools and scanners to detect deposits of minerals and ores. They found veins of gold, titanium and lithium, as well as underground caves and rivers. They also encountered some challenges such as steep cliffs, unstable rocks and poisonous plants. But they persevered, using their expertise and teamwork to overcome the obstacles. Team C, led by the oceanographer Dr Nguyen, sailed along the coast using a hovercraft that skimmed the surface of the water. They studied the ocean currents, tides and temperatures, and observed the marine life. They saw schools of fish that glowed in the dark, jellyfish that emitted electric shocks, and octopuses that changed colour and texture. 